guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, your favorite vlogger, Kill, back again with another YouTube video. Uh, so for today's video, oh, somebody knocked. <laughs> Who could that be? Who could it be? Oh, oh my God, it's my Swedish friend, Felicia. Hello, hey. Okay, so uh, today, this is the surprise. Uh, I decided to invite my amazing friend, Feli. Uh, she is from <laughs> Stockholm. Mm -hmm. uh, she and I both go to the World Swedish together. So um, we met last year and um, we become really good friends and we dance together. And I was like, you know what? Let's do a collab. Mm -hmm. Come to my like, come to my place. Let's do a video. And I decided like, let's do, um, you know, Swedish person is gonna help me, Canadian person, with some Swedish lessons. Yeah, so, we'll um, see how it goes. We're gonna yeah. do some tutoring. Yeah. Um, you're gonna tell me like how I do, if yeah. I'm, you know, good we'll or see. bad. So, but anyways, let's just give it up for the Swedish person. You know, give it up for her. She's amazing. <laughs> give it up. And let's begin. Okay, you guys. So first um, thing we're gonna do is just some good old fashioned Swedish words. Um, we also want to mention in Swedish, mm -hmm. they have three extra um, vowels for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, actually, why don't you tell mm -hmm. us these vowels? Then we'll put them up here yeah. on the screen somewhere. So the first one we have is... Oa. Oa. Which is literally just an A with like a dot over it, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you pronounce it like O. And then... Second. A, <laughs> which is very similar because it's uh, also an A but with two dots on top. And two then, people. Yeah, you pronounce it A. And then the last one is Ö, which is an O with two dots on top. So um, if you're trying to learn Swedish out here, this is a now free you lesson, know. you're welcome. <laughs> so um, now we're gonna go on to the words. Okay. Let's start with some simple words. Uh, these are kind of my favorite words, mm -hmm. I guess, in Swedish. The first one, this is actually where I live. Um, and that would be pronounced Kvalholmen. Is that like yeah. you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say it, yeah. let's hear, that's Canadian. Yeah, I say it. Let's see, Swedish. Kvalholmen. Okay, see, so she's like really good at that. <laughs> That. Yeah. <laughs> so like it's like I don't think you'd ever use that in English. In English, no. no. Yeah. It's it's a strictly native Swedish. Yeah, I think so have. actually. Yeah. So um that's the first one. Mm -hmm. And the next one, this is one of my favorites all time. <laughs> um Hu. Oh yeah. Hu. So um that's just number seven. Yeah. Um okay. I freaking love that one. Hu. Yeah, yeah. Hu. <laughs> <laughs> it's like People struggle with it until you get it. And then I think it's well, there. Do you think I'm yeah, okay? yeah, I think you got it, yeah. Like at first I was just like who, yeah, who, yeah. Who, who, who? Like, who? who? <laughs> so, anyways, why don't you try it? Uh, good luck. Yeah. It took me like kind of months to yeah. get who. Yeah. This next word, there's a funny story behind it. Um, it's pronounced, um, God, I'm gonna screw it up. Shuck. Yeah, that was very good. Okay, actually. lit. Yes. <laughs> but the first time I did this, I don't know if you know this, the first time I actually ever, like, um, saw this word was when I moved here with my when my dad at first he came with me and we were going to this uh, restaurant called Rolf's Shook. When we went I kept pronouncing it Rolf's cock. Oh yeah. Um literally all the time. <laughs> and I was like when I started meeting people I'd be like there's an amazing restaurant I went to called Rolf's cock. Oh my god Rolf's cock. Oh, and finally no. somebody it was someone with one of my friends yeah. who was like Wolf's cock, and I was like, yeah, and she was like, how do you spell it? And I, and I showed her, oh, yeah. and she was like, oh my oh, god, no. that's Shuck. And that, I was like... Oh, that's so that's so hard though, because it, it's spelled with a K, but it makes the same sound as like, whoo. Yes. So it's just weird, actually. It yeah. doesn't make any sense. I'm <laughs> sorry, like, I moved here from Canada, so I was like, what is a K? And I don't know what the O with two dots meant, so yeah. I was like, let's just pronounce it. Yeah, yeah. Oh the, no. The typical yeah. way. So um, well, you learned at least. <laughs> my lesson. Finally. Oh my god. So now we're just gonna move on to um, some difficult Swedish pun twisters. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try them, and Feli's gonna try it, see, and we'll yeah. see what happens. I think most, a lot of these are gonna be hard for me too. So I. I struggle with English, but good luck with <laughs> yeah. me in Swedish. <laughs> right, so uh, the first one that we have here, it's a simpler one. I'm gonna say it in English. It is six salmon in a salmon box. So, um, do you wanna? Should I say it in Swedish? You go first okay. in Swedish. Six laxer in laxask. <laughs> Shit, I should've made you go last. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, six laxer in laxask. Yeah, that's right, that's right. But All right. Then, yeah. What people do is like they, they say it over and over like as fast as they can. Yeah. Six lakhs and lakhs six lakhs and lakhs. I can't do it. <laughs> Next one. That one, right? Uh, no. Nay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Oh God. God. I'm gonna say it in English. Okay, yeah. so seven seasick sailors were nursed by seven beautiful nurses. So that's not pretty too hard for me in English. No. But, uh, but I don't. You yeah. you do it in. In Swedish, it's the uh, sound again. So it's. I have read this one slightly, like I learned it slightly differently. Like I, I learned it. Oh my! Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Yeah, you heard it. Oh my it, gosh! Yeah. I um I used to do these voice classes last year, and we did tongue twisters in Swedish. Oh, you and my did friend that one. V yeah. was obsessed with this tongue twister, oh. and she practiced. Hours oh my so God. she could do it, and I was like, I couldn't give a shit no. because I was like, I can't say this. Anyways, yes. let's. I'm gonna do it. This you're is gonna, the, yes. you're gonna hear me butcher. I need this closer so I can see what the hell. <laughs> I'm doing okay, are we ready? Um, who, 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 to score, score. It's hard. Oh my god. Okay, I'm basically just like embarrassing myself now. I, <laughs> the first one was better. <laughs> I thought I was like good at Swedish. Clearly, I'm not. Okay. The next one in English it is, Father, do sheep have sheep? No, sheep don't have sheep. Sheep have lambs. Okay, so this one's just funny because I mean this is not. I don't think pronunciation is hard in this one. It's just that, sheep and have are the same word, so it sounds like. Far for four four. Nay, into four four. Nay, not Sorry. Nay, into four 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 flam. Yeah, it's very strange. This one I think I could do. Far 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 far. Nay, into far 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 flam. Yeah, that was good. And I think that was very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think maybe it's actually easier when you're just saying the words. Is it for me? It's like so weird because it has a meaning. You know, like I'm saying like. I don't know. It's just very strange when you know what it what it means, kind of. It's like it's like saying, "Father, do sheep have sheep? Sheep, sheep do have sheep do." Yeah, have. but I'm not thinking that. No, I'm literally no. just thinking, yeah. just say, yeah. far, oh, far, oh, far, oh, far, yeah. far, day. Like that's all I'm exactly, thinking the whole time. Exactly. Just like say the words, Carol. You can do yeah. it. Okay, you guys, there you have it. That's this it. is we're done our Swedish um, tutoring lesson. <laughs> I feel like I'm. 0.5% better at Swedish. Oh, uh, well, great. So you're great. an amazing tutor. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. Um, I already think my clues are better. So, uh, yep. <laughs> anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and like it and you can subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow Felicia on Instagram. Please I'll put do. her information down. She's so great. She's amazing. So, um, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And have a great day. Bye. Bye.